I guess it's time to start filming again. Don't want to sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. I think of you and all the shit you don't do. Well, I'ma make hella shit sure that I don't become you. I have no regrets yet. All right, got a new season of Big Bill's Garage, and I am ready and out of breath already. Shit. I'm trying to exercise, get lean, get mean, not mean, happy, happy, friendly neighborhood parts guy. <laughs> the fuck are you looking at? All right, after taking some much needed time off to heal, not entirely. Uh, jokes aside, I, I took the time off just because I needed just some time to recharge my batteries. And plus, everything was just going crazy here inside the actual Big Bill's garage. There's been so many changes here, um, including the backdrop, which is now a very bleak and depressing gray, which makes me so happy. It's been so much that for the last year, I haven't been able to work in my garage. Now I'm able to work in my garage again. And I wanted to start off with something simple. Therefore... I took this brand new free car that I just got. Well, it's not brand new. It's new to me. 94 Ford Explorer. And we're going to go through this thing over time. But for today, it's time to just make it run right. It's been running really rich and running not so great. And the reason why is because I had to unplug the mass airflow sensor. And in past videos, I've had problems with mass airflow sensors on Thumper, which is the same motor not the same year and style of car, but just the same engine. <laughs> it's a mass airflow sensor. Mass air... Shit! Luckily with Thumper, it was just plugging it in. And it wound up working. It just came unplugged. It's quite the opposite uh, with this setup, though. Um, when you unplug the mass airflow sensor, the car actually runs. It doesn't run right, but it runs. When you plug it in, it don't run. Okay, so this is what the truck sounded like before we put the new mass airflow sensor on. Oh, that did not work. <laughs> <laughs> you know what helps? Is if you plug the battery in. <laughs> okay, we'll try that one more time. We're going to try that one more time. As you can see, the check engine light is on. And with Thumper, when it was unplugged, it didn't run, but when it was plugged in, it did run. So that leads me to think that I need to replace mass airflow sensor. So in case you don't know what a mass airflow sensor is, it is a sensor that measures the flow of air in mass. Action. Okay. So this is a 1994 Ford Explorer that I got for free from a friend of mine um, from way back in the day. And it's basically the same exact car as Thumper under the hood. So in order to make this run right, just to get it here and to make it to where I could actually get it to inspection and everything like that, I had to unplug this connector right here. And this is the mass airflow sensor connector. Basically this is the mass airflow sensor and this is the housing for it. You can buy them separately, but you can buy a reman with the housing and everything connected kit together. It's much easier to take apart because of these security screws that are right here. I have those, but not everybody will have them. That's why I did this this way, so that we could just get on these little bolts right here and just take it off very easily. Essentially what I have to do is I have to remove this hose with that bolt, which is 5 16 and all these bolts are 5 16 as well. I'm going to pop this hose off and then take this off and just replace it. YouTube seems to enjoy challenges. Let's see how fast I can remove this mass airflow sensor. Got to be fast, got to be fast, got to be fast. Seems to have a long screw. 
you ask my wife, I'm pretty good at long screws. Okay. You gotta try not to hurt that again. Okay, we got the hose off. Just got to get off just a little bit. <laughs> Wait a minute, am I tightening or loosening? Lefty loosey, righty tighty. I'm tightening. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Try not to drop these bolts. Did you drop one already then? No. No, I did not. So you got it now? Yeah. So isn't this electrical? Yes. No. So, why is it plugged in to the battery still then? Bill. It's not. Really? It's probably safe. Seriously? Right? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Told you I wasn't missing anything. Okay. So. This is the old mass airflow sensor. Which for some reason somebody put a gasket on there. Did mine come with the gasket? Mm. It didn't come with a gasket? It didn't come with a gasket. So can you borrow that gasket or get a new one? You know what? It's just air. Air doesn't leak any fluids. We don't need a gasket. Yeah. And that was the last thing we ever heard Bill say before he started his car and blew up. <laughs> I'm not stupid. When you're bolting these back on, though, you see how this one's like right here? So you want to put the other one on on the back side that in like a kind of like a star pattern for lugs. Best way, so that you can just kind of tighten it properly so you don't damage the gasket that's not there. What are you doing? I look cute. I'm in it too. See? That's my wife. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Alright, looks like we almost got it back together. I help. I'm just here for moral support and to watch you not kill yourself. I'm just filming you some B-roll stuff that you could probably use later in life. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about working on cars, Bill? Um, the satisfaction at the end of you know making it actually run right is then and when I say satisfaction, I mean true satisfaction. Because when I make things run right, I get a little bit of a roll in the hay, if you will. I'm going to tell you this right now, guys. Working on cars, making them run right and stuff. You find the right woman, like I did, it's a huge turn on. I haven't worn cologne in 14 years. <laughs> All I do is put a little bit of uh, 30 weight right behind each ear. I don't even have to work on a car at that point. Well, I'm just going to plug the new one in, actually. And then we'll see what happens. Well, just like with any free car, once you fix one problem, another one does arise. Uh, shortly after I filmed that little interlude where we talked about how the <laughs> check engine light was off and everything, it started running really rough. It started running like it was missing on a cylinder. So I listened to it for a little bit, didn't really like what I heard, had my wife shut it off, and then there was this uh, almost like a haunted house sound. Dong, dong. I climbed underneath the uh, car to kind of investigate it, and I believe, based off of just what I saw and everything, that now the cats are plugged, which makes a lot of sense because this thing has been running extremely rich for like the last month because... I'm guessing just because God knows that good content is on the way, uh, he just decided to give me, he just decided to give me a, uh, a gift. The gift of doing another exhaust on another Ford Explorer. What did I do to you? If you like this, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Check me out on all other platforms under Big Bill's Garage. You guys have a great day. I am so happy to be back. You have a wonderful day and be safe out there.